Gabriel, my huge congratulations. What a performance that is this evening. Gabriel, you don't give much away on stage, but it's the most I've seen you celebrate. Just sum up how you're feeling for us right now. Yeah, I, I feel really, really good. Uh, it was a tough game. Uh, New Zealand plays a really good game and uh, we play not so good in, in our uh, uh, draws. And uh, yeah, that was hard, hard. And uh, we go in the decider and uh, New Zealand uh, plays after 12 on 42. And uh, <laughs> that's uh, not, not uh, bad for uh, a double. The crowd out there was electric. How much did they inspire you in that decider as well? Ich habe auch nicht verstanden, ganz ehrlich. Wie viel ich, <lacht> wie viel ich das äh, Publikum inspiriert hat, in dem, gerade in dieser Zeit. Ach so, ja. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I, I have a good, uh, good throw with the 180 and uh, then, I, then I go to the, to the hockey and uh, I have 1 to 4 and I see 42 left for New Zealand and I must make it and I make it. Martin, you come into the World Cup, one of the most informed players on the planet right now. We see your numbers on the Euro Tour, winning your, your maiden title. Your numbers are as good as anyone. Can you captain this German team to, to glory here this weekend? Uh, I have to say, I'm not, I'm not playing for myself. I'm not playing on my own. And uh, I'm probably also not the captain of our team. It's just like we are playing together. So we are winning together or we are losing together. So there's not something like uh, in between. and. I try my best if I'm at the hockey, so is he, and yeah, we are looking forward to play our best and probably to go as far as, far as we can. You guys are obviously a contender for this, and when one half of the defending champion isn't available to, to play, does that give you extra motivation and, and a little bit more confidence knowing that, that Wales aren't at full strength? I, I, I would say, uh, to be honest, of course there's a difference when Gervin is not playing for Wales, but I think, especially after all these years, after all this experience, even if Gerwin would have played, probably we would have a chance to win against them. It doesn't matter for us. Because <coughs> if we are up there and hit 140s, 180s when it matters, and we can do that, then it's not the ask about the opponent, not about the enemy. So our biggest enemy, our biggest opponents, I think it's, it's, uh, it's ourselves. <laughs> We hear other players talk about the pressure of playing in front of home fans. When Michael plays in Rotterdam, uh, when Nathan Aspin plays in Manchester in the Premier League, they say they feel extra pressure. Do you guys feel extra pressure playing for Germany here in front of home fans? Never. You, you, <laughs> 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 you have always pressure. Uh, of, co of course, it's, uh, this is a special tournament. Uh, you play for Germany and uh, you play in, in front of the home crowd. It's, uh, Definitely, it's uh, special and uh, it's it's not easy, but uh, we make it last year's good, and uh, I hope this year we make it is better. Guys, huge well done there. You you spoke about the pressure, but in that final leg, did you feel any nerves? Because it looked like you were just as calm as anybody in the arena. Nothing again. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Oh, pressure is yeah, it's, it's normal. When you, when you see your, your opponent is on uh, 42, you have pressure, <laughs> of course. But it's uh, the bullseye was in, and uh, it's good. On paper, New Zealand were probably your toughest game in this group. Was there a worry that if you was to lose this match, that Germany could be not going home because you're already home, but? Uh, leaving quite early in the tournament. Yeah, and obviously, if we would have uh, lost to New Zealand, they uh, if they beat Finland, then we wouldn't even have a chance. Even if we would, if if we would beat Finland like 4-0, it would uh, it wouldn't matter anyway. So we were sure about the fact that in the whole format of the World Cup, you need to win everything, even though we are playing in a group. Because playing in a group of three simply means that like you have to win two games instead of one, isn't it? Like if you lose one, you are out of it nearly. But uh, I don't think the way New Zealand played, Finland probably could have beat them. I don't want to underestimate the, f the, f the Finn players, don't get me wrong, but Finland uh, is probably the third place in the group. New Zealand was the toughest opponent for us and they played really, really well. Germany's record in the World Cup is, is very good. It's not often that we don't see Germany reach the quarter-final. 
Is there a real sense now that you guys are one of the favourites to lift the World Cup? Because we've seen big players before not really operate as a team, whereas you two very much are a team and are quality individuals as well. Not at all. <laughs> Sorry, Gabriel. No, I, I think um, it's, it's like you said, we're working together quite well, so we are working as a team and it's not about uh, like who's the best, who's the worst, we're not caring about that because if we are playing here, it's about um, if we are winning or if we are not. So we are always, what we are doing is as a, as a we, we try to perform for, for us and not for anybody else. And obviously we are um, aware of the fact that probably we are not the worst nation in this contest. So we probably have a chance in this one. But um, yeah, like I said in the interview before, first of all, for the second task now is Finland. And then we have to get through the last 16, then the last eight, and then if we go that far, we have to see what's going to happen. That's huge, well done, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.